Hey YouTube, I'm Brad Haps here, and today I'm going to show you how to play a video in Xcode on from devices in 3.0 to 4.1. Alright, so pretty much you're just going to want to have Xcode open. You're going to create a new project, view based application, then you're going to name it video. Now I made this video because I find that many people are having uh, trouble with putting M uh, videos in 4.0 because it only plays the audio or it crashes or something. Well, this is how to do it with everything working, no problems at all. So, what you want to do first is you're going to do control click frameworks, add existing frameworks. You're going to go to media player and add that. Then, you're going to want to go to wherever your video is and you can drag this in to resources. Now, in your classes, you're going to import that framework. So we're going to import the media player slash media player dot age. Then after the end bracket, you're going to make an IV action. I'll name it video one. All right. Now once you get there, um, you're going to go to your dot m. Just to make this easy, because it's a it's a lot of code. Then I will go back here and I will expand it. All right. And then you're going to copy this code. I'll make it pretty simple for you to understand. So you're going to uh, name your IB action again. Then you're going to do a start bracket. Make sure you do the end bracket. And then you type starting in here. Do NS bundle space asterisk bundle space equal space start bracket NS bundle space main bundle end bracket semicolon. Then the next line will be NS string space asterisk movie path space equal to space begin bracket bundle space so path for resource and it should fill in this part for you so you don't have to type all this code in and here you just want to make sure this matches whatever your video name was before the the, the dot there or the period you don't want to uh, put the whole thing otherwise it's not going to work and then you just gotta make sure you end it with the quotation marks there. Then you can do space of type at quotation. Then you can do whatever is after the period in the name of the video file. The period you don't want to put anything. You don't want to put the period in any of these names in the code. So in my case, it'll be MP4. Make sure you end the quotation. Do an end bracket semicolon. Next line you're gonna put NSURL space asterisk movie url space equal to space ns url file url with path um, colon movie path end bracket space retain bracket semicolon so pretty much here you're just starting to tell it um, what the file name was and it's going to start playing it then after that you're going to put mp movie player controller space asterisk the movie so the movie is pretty much like uh, this line of code then you were going to put space equal to space start bracket start bracket mp movie player controller space analog end bracket and knit with content url colon movie url end bracket semicolon then the next line is the movie dot scaling mode space equal space MP movie scaling mode aspect fill. Now there's actually a bunch of different um, types of aspects fill and whatever this is called. Uh, and the developer f uh, site, if you just search up MP movie player, there's a bunch. There's aspect fill. Um, I don't know the other names, but there's you don't have to fit the entire screen. You can make it so it's widescreen, make it a square, or whatever you call it. So you can just have a lot of different stuff here. It doesn't have to be aspect fill. Then make sure it, uh, you have a semicolon after that. Then have the movie play. So pretty much you're just going to play the movie here in this line of code. So the movie space play and bracket semicolon next line MP movie player view controller space asterisk movie player space equals to space start bracket start bracket MP movie player view controller space analog and bracket and knit with content URL colon movie url and bracket semicolon next line start bracket self present movie player view controller animated colon 
movie player and a bracket semicolon then make sure you just have the bracket here to end it then what we do is going to do command build okay now you're going to want to go to your view controller dot xi bay I'll make it very simple here so it's uh, pretty fast alright so what you want to do is uh, drag on a view then you're going to get a round rectangular button put it in the middle ish or whatever you want to put it actually you say play video okay and now you're going to go here files you're going to click files owner and you're going to drag the action that we made it in the dot h video one put it over on the button and go touch up inside now you don't have to do anything else in interface but you can do command s and command q now pretty much we're done so this is just the whole bulk of code here and it'll work it'll have the uh, it'll have the fast forward uh, rewind pause the scrubbing bar this code i put in here does not have the volume slider uh, but you can easily change that um, in what I think right here. Yeah, there's a bunch of different aspects and m scaling modes that have different types of buttons depending on what you want. But mine does not have a volume because I don't I don't really find that it's needed. All right, so now we're gonna go build and run, and it'll launch in the simulator. All right, now you're gonna click play the video. Let me make sure my volume's down, and then I'll put it. Uh, it'll launch in portrait, but I'll put it on the left. And then, of course, no volumes. Rewind, pause, fast forward, and you could fast forward here. Yeah. You can make it so it's full screen and not full screen. We need to bring him back. Black Ops. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much what it is. It'll just it'll work. Now you could add an additional line of code to make it automatically play in landscape or portrait, but this way it's just a lot more universal and it'll be a lot easier for many people to use. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this very useful for your project. And if uh, any suggestions on my videos, if I'm going too fast or too slow, just let me know in the comments. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. See you later.